Hi grade 12 students, so in today's video we are going to discuss inventory. So this is one of the question paper that was written around June. It was DBE examination. So it was question 3 of yes paper is paper 2. Okay, so basically this question paper is more suitable for those who are uh, rewriting metric, those who are going to write uh, examination uh, around June and those who are going to write a trial as well as final examination so please make sure that you stay tuned watch until the end so that you will learn how are we going to treat this question paper okay uh, let's look at the information that we have okay uh, 3.1 they say that we have to answer complete each of the following sentences by filling in the missing words write only the words next to the question number 3.1 up to 3.1.3 in the answer book okay they say the stock valuation method that assume that the older stock is sold first is the mm method this method we call it fifo method you know that when we calculate a uh, fifo method this method assume that inventory that purchase first is gonna be sold first which means that the one that we buy last is gonna uh, the build the one that is going to be sold last okay then 3.1.2 they say the stock uh, system used to record the cost of goods sold at the point of sales in other words they are saying that the inventory system that record a cost of sales at the point of sales we call it perpetual inventory system perpetual inventory system very simple okay 1.3.1.3 the stock valuation method that divides the total uh, cost of goods available for sale by number of units, we call it average weighted. We call it weighted average method. Okay, so it's the one that we have to divide by number of units. Okay, then the following question 3.2 they say, Lerato Kukue, they say that the business owned by Lerato glow cell one of type of cooking pot and the two popular models of microwave oven and the financial year end 28 february 2022 okay now they say that the periodic inve inventory system is used uh, in this business okay the pots are uh, valued using the weighted average method and the microwave oven are valued using the specific identification method okay now let's say let, they say that we have to calculate for cooking pot first okay 3.2.1 refer to information a b and c they said calculate the value of closing stock of pot on 28 february 2022 okay if you check on the previous uh, information that we read they said the pot valued using weighted average method which means that we are going to use weighted average method to calculate this closing stock okay let's check information a b and c okay uh, let's do the average you know average we take all total inventory available uh, to be sold in other words is opening plus purchase minus minus what minus return and we divide by those unit okay let's take our opening our opening it was uh, 224,000. on top we put values guys then on the bottom we put uh, their unit which is 800 units okay plus net purchase is already subtracted what a return we're gonna take one uh, which is net purchase one million seven hundred and twelve thousand and the net is four thousand plus four thousand seven hundred okay then if you do this calculation you're going to get average price okay then let's check uh, let me uh, check the calculation on my side uh, is gonna be on top is going to give us one million nine hundred and thirty six thousand and we divide it by five fifty then after that uh, you have to multiply by the closing inventory because when you divide here you are going to get average price per one item and you have to mat you multiply by what uh, remaining units at the end if you check remaining units at the end guys it's gonna give you nine eight 
980 units is there on the table then answer will be 344,960 just like that that's how you're gonna get that uh, four marks okay then the next one they say that uh, Lerato is unsure how long it will take to sell a closing stock okay then on the required they say that provide the calculation to address uh, her concern how are we going to do this okay how long it will take to sell a closing inventory we have to use uh, the formula okay the formula uh, that we are going to use guys is a stock holding a stock holding period okay 3.2.2 they say that it's based on what on closing which means that no need to do a average of opening plus closing and you divide by two they say closing which means that you only have to use closing that we calculated okay we calculated a closing uh, of amount of 344 this one 344 and 960 and we have to divide by a cost of sales which is 1 million okay then we have to multiply by uh, 365 and uh, so that we can check how many days it take for us to do what to sell this closing inventory okay if you do this calculation you are going to get 79 days okay now it's time to comment okay because on the following question they say that uh, explain whether the period calculated is acceptable or not in other words this is the days guys that we take to sell in uh, our pot is it good or bad you can comment uh, both sides you can say it's good and the support bad and the support in this case uh, we can say that number one it's not good the reason they won't be good cash flow in this business remember guys uh, if we are not receiving any cash for 79 days that's a lot how are we going to survive as a business how are we going to pay our employees so it's too much but you can still say it's good and you say that port does not expire okay however uh, it's very dangerous because uh, those port they can get out of fashion you can find that another company is producing uh, the other kind of nice port and they sell them cheaper which means that this one they are going to be very useless okay then the next question uh, they say that calculate the number of missing port this one is very simple we take all available inventory we take opening plus purchase and we subtract those return and we subtract closing and we're gonna get how many missing okay uh, let me calculate is 3.2.3 our opening it was 800 units we use units by guys in this case we don't use values 4700 is a net is already subtracted what a close um, a return okay then after that you're gonna subtract a sales and closing of 4270 and 908 then you're gonna get a missing inventory of 250 units you have to indicate that it's unit okay simple like that very simple all right this is how you answer uh, this question now we have to move to the next one the next one uh, we are going to microwave oven i have to rub some part here uh, as the other side is for cushion paper okay so now let's go to 3.2.5 okay they say that microwave you have to refer to information number d calculate the value of closing a stock of microwave oven okay 
then after that we have to answer some uh, kind of question which require a theory part okay remember microwave use what specific identification method okay if you don't know it you are going to learn it now in this video so guys for those who want to join our extra class please make sure that you come as early as possible our extra class is still six rand per month it's online class uh, we don't do any meeting it's online uh, so if you join our class you will be able to ask any question that you feel like you are struggling on our whatsapp line uh, so that when it comes to examination you will be ready because i noticed that uh, in terms in term one guys there are some people that they were texting me a night before around 12 o'clock in that case a person is asking about a balance sheet can you help me with a balance sheet and income statement it's not going to be possible in that case because you only left with few hours to write and we can't help you in that case we will have to make sure that you join us as early as possible so that we will be able to do what to assist okay now let's do the last part we are going to use a specific identification method information number d okay let's check information number d and analyze it record of microwave okay we have opening purchase total purchase and return so if you check in this case we have two product model which is swift and the other one we call it a uh, delta and if you check the other thing which is very important is unit price firstly check if those price are the same for swift opening it was 2800 uh, per unit and purchase it was still 2800 even for delta is the same 3.2 3.2 which means that is going to be easy this question okay let's start with swift swift opening unit it was 380 which we have to edit with swift of edition of 750 okay uh, then after that uh, we're gonna add no there is no any additional we're gonna subtract a sales of 965 because there's no return if there's a return we have to subtract then this will give us amount of 165 which we have to multiply by price per unit which is 2800 okay it's gonna give us amount of 462,000. very simple and we do the same in this case okay for delta we're gonna take 480 at the beginning plus 600 uh, of purchase minus a return of 120 and we minus uh, 580 so this 165 is closing at the end it's a unit at the end which is closing and now the closing this side uh, is gonna give us 330 and we map that by price per unit which is 3200 then it's gonna give us a amount of 1 million and 56 thousand okay these two we need to add them together then it's gonna give us one million five hundred and eighteen thousand so this is how you work a specific identification method guys it's very simple firstly identify how many units at the end that we have after that you multiply and make sure that if you have three model do all of them separate don't mix a uh, models guys you can mix picanto and mix uh, with mercedes benz and you, you calculate them at the same time no you must first get the total this side total this side then you will be fine all right then the other question uh, let's read the other question lerato plan to discontinue selling the delta model lerato want to discontinue this model okay uh, give two reasons to support the decision and one reason against this decision okay so why lerato want to uh, discontinue to sell this uh, um, uh, this model okay number one why she want to sell uh, to discontinue to sell the delta model let me write down mm. is 3.2.5 the other one the previous one was 3.2.4 okay two reasons guys the first reason is that if you check uh, the price this price is too expensive and some uh, client 
they are not affording this delta model because if you check uh, this uh, this price guys let me open the table the delta is costing 3200 and the other one is 2800 which means that most of people are affording swift okay the other reason guys if you check a closing a stock that we calculated uh, for delta we find that we left with 330 unit and on the other one we find that we left with only 165 which means that most of people they are not buying this one that's why we left with a lot of of unit okay then now we have to give one another reason against this scene in other words we are not we are advising her not to cancel this model which point can we give very simple if you check uh, our gross profit of these two models for swift we have 1,351,000, but for Delta, we have 1,392,000, which is more higher than Swift. Delta have more gross profit. In other words, uh, we can see that she must keep selling this uh, item because it's giving her more uh, gross profit. Even though the sales of Delta uh, is less because a unit is 580 and the Swift one is 965, but... Uh, this unit guys uh, of 580 is bringing a lot of gross profit compared to 965 of swift that's how you should answer this kind of question i hope you enjoy guys please if you are coming here for the first time or for the second time or for the third time and you have been subscribed guys let's make sure that you subscribe so that more videos will appear on your youtube so that you will be able to learn a lot because we keep uploading new videos so that our people even though they are not able to afford uh, extra class they can keep uh, learning every day i hope you enjoy and i'm gonna see you on the next one